we're not bowling, but a horse that gives you a good toss every time and it's always the same, it makes your job a lot easier. I'm Alexis Kimsey and this is the Wrangler Network. We're here with Tyler Wade. I almost said T. Wade. It was really hard not to say it. I have known you since we were in junior high. Long time. You were a stud back then too, so it's pretty cool to <laughs> yeah. see you in the Thomas and Mac now. Because you definitely thought you were a stud then too. So Yeah, I thought I had it figured out. You thought I did. Yeah. So what's changed since then? The sports humbling, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, but no, nothing's changed. Just take a little more serious, I guess. You've qualified for the finals before, and you know the pressure that comes into going into the Thomas Mack each night and making a solid run. So what are you most looking forward to on this time back around? Uh, honestly, I've never done good in the, in the average. Yeah. And just I'm pretty excited to rope with Trey. He yeah. catches every time, and uh got two good horses, and I got a few too. So uh, we're loaded for bear anyways, so we should do good. You should do good. I saw something, and maybe I'm wrong. How many partners have you had this year? I've just had one this one? year. Okay. Yep. I, well, uh, I guess unofficial rodeos and stuff, I yeah. had quite a few partners. I was like, I count like four. So I was like, Tyler Wade, what is yeah. going on? Yeah. But people don't realize it's a relationship, and it's really a partnership. You have to find someone that really fits with your style of roping. Yeah, no, absolutely. And uh, Trey's from Colorado, and I'm from Texas, so we don't get to practice as much as we'd like. But we, we practice, we take care of business, and, uh, you know, I mean, he just he does a good job. So, How would you describe your roping for someone that – is sitting at home that wants to become a fan of you? I guess it's not that conservative, usually. I That's guess a good way to put it. <laughs> so, um, you know, uh, if you have the speed, you got to work on consistency. So that's mm -hmm. my biggest deal is making sure I'm being consistent. Well, how do you do that? Like, coming into this, how did you work on the consistency part? Because you are, you like to go in guns blazing. Well, rodeo, you know, it's not like bowling. You don't get the same toss every no. time. So you got to work on your angles and different scenarios and that sort of thing. And I'm... The older you get, the kind of more mature you get and understanding situations when you get into them. So it makes it a little bit easier, just trial and error. Mm -hmm. Are you riding the same horse that you did this season? Yep. Uh, well, there's two horses. I rode mine, and then I rode uh, Trey's dad's horse, J.D. That's rode, a good one. A good rode, mount. Yeah, I rode his horse all year, too. So yeah. they both went, I went, went to 30 or so on each horse. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start out on mine here, but I always got his as a backup. It's That's really good, good too. Horsepower is so important. So for you, how do you like? What do you go into looking for the process of finding the perfect horse for you? What's the one thing that matters the most? You know, just horses that are consistent and let you in are important. Mm -hmm. Like I said, we're not bowling, but a horse that gives you a good toss every time and it's always the same. It makes your job a lot easier. So just find a horse with speed and consistency and the mind to handle it all, and the the body soundness wise to take it too is pretty hard to find. It definitely helps with your confidence, I think, especially as a team roper. So, what are, are you nervous? I always have to ask everybody. No, I'm not nervous. You don't get nervous? No, I'm ready, though. You're I feel ready. like we've practiced enough and it's I'm time. looking forward to it. Yeah. Well, congratulations. We're excited for you. Good luck with everything. Thank you.